Trains take us places. Sometimes places we don't want to go, but need to go. Howdy. <laughs> Max Glauben laughs at just how odd this is. It feels strange to a point. It's like he's looking into a mirror that talks back. Do the best you can with what you got. Listen to the train whistle. Last year, Max spent more than 40 hours telling stories in a 360 degree studio with special cameras on him. They'll turn him into an interactive hologram. This is Max's first look at a simplified version of that hologram. It not only talks back, but sings back By no mother to help us all look back. This is my greatest reward in my lifetime, is to give people or tell people about what has happened so they could respect the rights of other people and don't allow another Holocaust to happen. Max survived the Holocaust. Six million Jews were murdered, including his family. Just across the train tracks from the spot where we watched that sample video. What do you think? I think it's unbelievable. Max got his first look at the $78 million Holocaust and Human Rights Museum he worked to bring to Dallas. This is the shell of the Dimensions and Testimony Theater. When construction is complete. We'll have microphones that come down this, from the ceiling, so any place you're seated, you can ask a question of Max. Max's hologram will come to life in this room. We'll be ready, and this will be one of only two theaters like this in the world. One of the most important experiences our visitors can have is an interaction with a survivor, and sadly, we'll lose that opportunity in a short time. And so this experience will be as close as we can get to that. The center teaches about the Holocaust as well as the struggle for human rights across the world and equal rights here at home. There's still work to be done. Yes. Right. Yes. It's a process. There's a World War II era boxcar. This is how Jews were moved to concentration camps and killing grounds. Max remembers it all. What I went through was more than five days on the boxcar. I asked him how he relives unspeakable horrors that no one should endure even once. I close my eyes and I see what I experienced and I am a bystander describing what happened, not an individual that was hurt. Max is 91. I'll sing along with him. <laughs> he believes he was destined to live a long life so he can transport us. Through his past, we must build a better future. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard.